Does Chris Christie have the clout to sway tomorrow's election? It depends on who you talk to. Up until this poll, the Democrats have held a double-digit lead. In fact, in the, the last poll, it was 18 points in favor of the Democrats. Uh, in our newest poll, it's only seven points in favor of the Democrats, which is a, a huge shift and suggests that um, Governor Christie's very effective gubernatorial campaign is rubbing off on Republicans down ballot. Among the candidates hoping to grab onto Christie's potential coattails are East Brunswick Mayor David Stahl, a former Democrat turned Republican running for Senate in the 18th District. Obviously, the, you know, the longer the governor coattails are, are is only going to be beneficial to myself and my uh, assembly candidates. But you know, we've worked hard over the last six months, going door to door. You know, collectively, we've knocked on probably close to 14,000 doors. So we've put in a lot of a uh, grassroots type of work during the course of this campaign. So it's kind of like that ice cream. You know, you, you make yourself a beautiful Sunday, and if the governor's coattails or that little cherry on the top, it even makes it more delicious. But the Democratic legislative candidates in the 18th district, one of a handful expected to be competitive, aren't concerned about the polls. During a phone interview, Senate candidate Peter Barnes said, I don't focus on the other guy or governor. I spent a lifetime developing good relationships, and I have a good track record. But Republican okay. Assembly candidate Robert Benjavenga tells a different story. David Saul and I, we want to make sure that we represent the people, because for far too long, our representatives haven't represented the people. Governor Christie has embraced his role on the top of the ticket by making key stops in battleground districts like the 38th. That's where he reiterated his intent to help Republican candidate Fernando Alonso try to unseat Democratic Senator Bob Gordon. Despite this offensive, polls suggest incumbent Democrats still appear to have the upper hand. So if it's a district that has an incumbent Democrat, they're mostly drawn to favor the incumbent Democrat or the incumbent Republican. So that there are very, very few truly competitive districts in the state. And as a consequence, even with the kind of overwhelming lead that the governor has at the top of the ticket, it still isn't going to move a whole lot of districts one way or the other. Of course, it all comes down to voter turnout, and it could be low for two reasons. One, if voters believe this is a slam dunk victory for Christie, they may not be motivated to get to the polls. And since the U.S. Senate special election was just a few weeks ago, voter fatigue could also be a factor. I'm Desiree Taylor, NJTV News.